Welcome to Golden Mastermind Seminars Radio with your host, Jeffrey Combs. Jeffrey Combs, good afternoon, everyone. Four o'clock Eastern Standard Time. This is going to be old school, like it used to be in the more heart than talent mindset call back in the day. I used to cover a lot of prospecting back in the day from 1999 up until 2000, really around 2013, 14, 15. And then I moved a lot of my content to letting go recovery consciousness, but still would occasionally touch on prospecting. Power Prospecting and Sorting for Pros. That was the first audio program that I produced in 1998, followed by Mindset Consciousness. So it was the first two audio programs. Prospecting for Pros was a two cassette audio program. Mindset Consciousness was a four cassette audio program that I eventually converted. I did away with Power Prospecting for Pros. And then Mindset Consciousness, those of you who are my coaching clients, have that CD set on download in your back office. And it is now an eight CD set. I combined a multitude of products that was called Quantum Leap Thinking for Quantum Results and Mindset Consciousness. And Chris Maddock, who at the time was my audio engineer producer who produced all of my content, was very masterful at that transition. So today's Facebook Live will be on <clears throat> Lead Mastery. Those of you who require to master sales skills, this will be exceptional content for you. This is a CD set I produced back in 2003, The Psychology of Closing. This was a, this came out as a CD set. This is one of the first CDs I produced out following the cassette era. Those of you who are old enough to know the cassette era, if you remember the cassette tapes that we used to listen to, <clears throat> in the 70s and 80s on music well we also had cassette tapes for audio and I had Jim I had Jim Rohn on cassette tape I had Napoleon Hill on cassette tape I had <clears throat> Frederick Lerman on cassette tape and that was called that was called um, what was that one called that was called I'll think of that in a second but that but his tape his tapes were really good on Prosperity, Prosperity Consciousness was Frederick Lehrman's six tape audio cassette program. This is one of my first CD set, The Psychology of Closing. This was a bestseller for years. And then in 2008, this was my product that really crossed the bridge. I sold in the thousands and thousands of this 10 CD audio program. If you are my coaching client, you do have that in your back office. The topic for today's Facebook Live is Lead Mastery being a master at asking. So lead mastery will assist you in all areas of your life. If you are dating, asking the questions in a sequence is valuable. If you're interviewing clients, prospects, or customers, that is valuable. If you are looking for vendors, contractors, if you're looking for, for customers and clients, the ability to ask the questions in a sequence, and then the lead generation is imperative to keep the flow of a business flowing. Ideally, it's organic, it's holistic, and it happens in a flow. And if you do require to go out and advertise, that's a, you've now left the lake, the pond, and gone into the ocean. Just before this Facebook Live, I had a woman who followed me and then sent me one of those messages like that on why I should buy their system for coaching leads. So I have invested numerous times in those systems and unfortunately not many results have been created. I am a very skilled advertiser of, of select areas that I've advertised businesses. I've done roadside signs. I was a very skilled postcard, uh, very skilled at, at purchasing postcards and doing postcard bulk mailing as much as 2,000 leads, 2,000 postcards a week with a 5% return, which is a very, very high return on that investment. And today, in today's world, I would never suggest postcards. I right now just bought a system where I can, where I am in the process, and some of you may receive this, but I'm, I, I have a text messaging service that I just purchased. Now we did scrub all the numbers, and so if you get a text message and you're a coaching client, please ignore it because it's not for you. We're in the process of scrubbing all the numbers. We have 6,000 numbers. I have an email list 
what I originally thought was an 18,000 person email list, but shrunken all down. It's about 6,000 active emails that open. And I built this over time and that is called list building. So there's, there's 9,000 people in two different lists. Now there are people who have in the hundreds of thousands of people that have opted into a list. I do not have that luxury. I have not created that system. I've had really good employees and we were never able to really create that type of niche. And the objective, if you own a business, is to have more leads than you have time, provided you can service the lead. Now, depending on what your business is, if you own a service business, if you are a house cleaner, a plumber, and you have all these leads, but you can't service them, well, then it's going to, you're, instead of being lead poverty, you're in lead prosperity, but your leads are going to die in the vine because you're not able to get back to them, or you can't service the customer. And there are many business owners who have challenges being able to service the leads because they have more leads than they have time and they don't have the system or the routine to be able to service the database. Now, I am, I at one point had a 12 week waiting list for my coaching, not for a short period of time, but for years. From 2012 to 2018, I consistently had a 12 week waiting list. So you would hire me pay in full and it would be 12 weeks before I could get to you. I also did not have the coaching packages that I have now. I have a much longer coaching package now. Back then because of supply and demand, I could command a higher fee with fewer hours. So that is that is where I am in the world today. So right now I'm very comfortable with my, my value proposition, the number of hours I offer for a first time coaching client. And then if you wanna be a long-term client, then I will create a package for you that will assist you to be and stay a long-term coaching client. I have very, very high retention on my coaching clients. Many of my clients stay with me for years. I mean, multiple years. Josh Waxman is in year number 10 coaching with me. He's a very successful insurance broker in, in Brickell, which is South Beach in Miami. And he originally hired me in Philadelphia when he was 18 years old. He actually hired me at the campus of University of Delaware. I did an event in 2014 with 122 college students under 22 years old that paid, I believe they paid 20 bucks to see me back the day. And five of them hired me that day, back in the day, all of them under 22 years old. So point number one on the syllabus today is the equation of more leads in time. It means you are skilled at the lead flow, at being able to create the leads where leads come to you. Now, back in the day when I was back in this era of prospecting in early 2000, so what was I? I was 43 years old. I was 43 years old. I wasn't in my prime, I'm in my prime now, but back in 19, in 2002 and 2003, multiple lead generation companies came to me and then I created products for them and they used a system. There was a company called Cutting Edge Media and you can still find some of their content, but Cutting Edge Media used to use one of my cassettes and it went out to all their leads and I would train for many of the lead generation companies, Bamboo Biz, Cutting Edge Media. So I'm a phone pro. I grew up in phone rooms. I have sold Yellow Page Advertising as a 1099 sales professional before I ever owned a business. And so I have, been, I have owned businesses most of my life. I was never really employable, even though I have a college degree in mass communications. I started selling when I was a teenager and grew up in phone rooms in Denver, Colorado and other areas of cold calling. So I'm a very skilled at cold calling. I used to train for, for uh, Prospect Planet, uh, Bamboo Biz, as I said, Cutting Edge Media, and a multitude of companies. And I always taught that there's more leads than time. And a skilled phone professional or a sales professional, you can take that skill anywhere in the world. You can also take it to dating because it's the same situation. Small talk, fact finding, rapport building, and then it's qualifying the person for your time, being able to trust your own intuition to, is this someone that I have a good feel for? And do I want to be in business? Do I want this person to be a customer? Do I want this person to be a client? 
Is there a danger sign? Is there a danger signal? Is there narcissistic tendencies here? Is this a pathological liar? Is this someone that you can count on? Is this someone that's dependable? And now many people are not skilled at asking the questions because they get the story in this part of their left brain and they get in this left brain cycle of, I don't want to offend someone. I don't want to make them mad. I don't want to make them angry. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get rejected. I don't want to say the wrong thing. And that, this happens to a lot of people. And then when you are a people pleaser and you're codependent, you will have challenges prospecting, asking the questions, qualifying the people for your time, and then you end up on dates with narcissists and don't understand how this happens to you. Well, it happens because you are not skilled at qualifying the potential person for your time. I've been a dating coach for a number of years, and it astounds me how many people are not skilled. at da Dating is a skill, and if you do not master the skills of dating, then that leaves you to any old one, or you don't even date, period, because it's just like owning a business and prospecting. You have dating avoidance or prospecting avoidance. It's the same situation. And then the mouth moves and it goes, there aren't any good men out there. There aren't any good women out there. I'm on these apps and all I find are these people. Well, that's because you're not skilled at dating, just like you are not skilled at prospecting. And so there, there's a level of warmth. There's a level of charisma. And, but if you're in your head and you're thinking, processing, analyzing, you will not be effective. Prospecting requires speed. And that's the neurological network of neurons that wire and fire that allows you to effectively ask the questions in a sequence. Some of you have this. I believe Michael Cole has this. I saw him on the phone. Michael, I'm sure you have this in the original CD version. And that was 2003. And then this was 2008. Look at this. This is... These are like antiques. That's that's how it used to be back in the day. They now on download. I saw Margaret Tallett on today's call. Margaret, I believe you have those from back in the day also. So if you are in 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 being an exceptional prospector, in creating leads, it means that you are skilled in asking the questions in a sequence. So there's a term called three foot rule. So three foot rule means someone within three foot of you. This is old school network marketing, direct sales that I learned from great, the great Burke Hedges who wrote the book, Who Stole the American Dream. Burke sold that book to thousands and thousands of copies at through the Amway network. I grew up in the Amway, um, in the Amway, um, Herbalife Network in the late 80s and 90s, and I was listening to the Amway cassettes. I was building a a business with, um, <clears throat> I was building businesses in 1990 and 91. That's when the water filtration companies, NSA, Equinox, and then of course, Amway and Herbalife. They were some of the giants back in the day, and that's where I really grew up in that. So yes, that's called, if you want to, uh, yes, Pamela, Burke Hedges, you want to look him up. He's a fascinating man. I shared the stage with him a few times. Michael Cole probably remembers him. Burke wrote a, a very famous little book called Who Stole the American Dream? It was also a VHS. Remember that, a VHS? Michael, you may remember it. Tommy Lasorda was the host of it, and it was called Who Stole the American Dream? You can still find it out online. And if you, have never, if you haven't found uh, Stuart Wilde, go, do this this afternoon. Now, this is old and grainy, but go find Stuart Wilde, Money Mastery. He does a seminar. He's doing a seminar in, um, in New Mexico. In, I believe it's in Santa Fe in the late 80s where he's doing he's, – it's fascinating on Money Talk. More leads than I have time. Germany Brown, good to see you here. So I'm covering this. So if you're just following in here today, prospecting is a skill. Germany, I taught your homegirl, Diane Hunt, how to prospect many, many, many years ago on how to effectively qualify people for your time. So right here, I have a, this is a survey lead. This comes to me in my inbox. And so it comes to me from all of the marketing. So that's a 20 minute survey lead that comes to me. And I have three main questions. And one of the questions is how serious are you about hiring Jeff? And it's A, B, and C. So one of them says just looking, that's kicking the tire. And then the other one is, it says they can answer moderately interested. And then the other one is committed. So 
So that gives me an idea. And so the last, the, so right here it says, how serious are you about hiring a coach? It says serious right there. And then what two questions would you like to ask Jeff? I mean, so that's, I'm fact finding right there in that situation. I had a woman from Australia fill that out last week and I was never able to get a hold of her. So I took that lead and threw it away. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a lead chaser. I'm a lead magnet and I have more leads than I have time. And it goes for the same in dating. If you're going to date, you have to do a lot of dating because it's recognition and experience. The probability of you going out in the dating field and tripping over yourself and falling into Sir Galahad or Queen Guinevere on date number one is slim and none. None wrote out and slim is mounting up. You require the repetition and experience of prospecting, dating, fact finding, rapport building, small talk, going to meet up groups, meeting people in different situations. I have recruited some of the best people ever in restaurants or in gyms. I recruited a woman named Lisa in 1996. I recruited her. She was selling health club memberships in Quail Lakes Athletic Club. I was $100,000 in credit card debt. I was not telegraphing that. I was not, I definitely was not operating from broke thoughts. She had posture, was attractive, and was a top sales professional in that club. I asked her by using her first name, Lisa, do you keep your options open for additional streams of income? She says, is this network marketing? I said, absolutely. And I asked her if she'd ever been in the industry and she told me a story of what she had been through, the odyssey that she had been through with a company called Equinox back in the day. And I asked her if that experience would keep her from looking at an opportunity that could change the quality of her life. She listened to a 22 minute call that night, got started two days later with money she did not have. She had a 15 year old son. And two years later, she became a quarter of a million dollar income earner in my team. That really happened to me. And then she attracted a woman from a postcard lead that I gave her. I gave her eight postcard leads from my inbox. And one of the people in with those leads became a seven figure income earner named Barbie from Arkansas. So, I mean, I have hundreds and hundreds of stories of prospecting. I've been prospecting telephone, three foot rule, in person, live. I used to have prospecting clinics where I would have back in the days when I had those, 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 I got to think of what the, what the type of phones they were, voice over IP phones. And I would get them set up in a hotel room in Stockton, California. I would, it would be $2,000 to come to the event. It would be two days of sheer prospecting. And many of the people would disappear from the event. They would get so anxious at the event that they were going to make a mistake, get in trouble. I mean, people would absolutely break down at my prospecting clinic. I stopped doing it because people would break down so much. They would pay $2,000, come to the clinic, then have so much anxiety about making the phone calls in the room. And I would be usually the one making the phone calls and they would watch me for two days and they still got value from it because they wanted to watch the master close the sales. And invariably, I would take these leads that I would create or that I would buy and they were, they were $3.50 leads and I would book the appointments live in front of 15 people and that's what a master does and, and learn to let go of prospecting avoidance. Prospecting is a skill and when you are skilled at asking the questions, you will have a law of average conducive to creating an outcome. That's going to be very common when it comes to lead mastery and prospecting that most of the world is anxious about the outcome. They're anxious about making a mistake, getting in trouble, saying the wrong thing, uh, getting yelled at, being rejected, being abandoned. Be, and whatever the situation is, it's stories and that's what you learn to let go of. And you learn to let go of people diplomatically, easily, and effortlessly. And when you are skilled in this process, you will start to relax into the process and you'll be able to easily and effortlessly let people go. Now, this is one of the key components that you will find that a large percent of your prospects will lie to you. And they don't understand that a pathological lie is a pathological lie. And you will encounter, I, now I've been, a, I've been a professional at sales since I was a teenager. I started selling I started selling Time Life books when I was 19 years old in Denver, Colorado. I sold radio and television advertising while I was in college. I worked, I mean, I have sold multiple products straight commission. So I do understand the skill of sales. I sold yellow page advertising, which was like a PhD in selling straight commission 
business to business, and I also had key accounts, and I would go into territories for 90 days all up and down the West Coast from San Diego to Eureka, California, as far as as Wyoming and other territories, Sun City, Arizona. I would have to drive to these territories, camp out there for 90 days, occasionally go home on a few weekends. It was a very valuable selling experience. It was in my first two years of sobriety, and I really, really next leveled uh, the, uh, the, the three-foot rule walking into a business, asking for the business owner, being able to secure an appointment right there in the spot and close the sale. It's called a one-call close. Now, most closes are going to be a direct reflection of the business model that you're in. Every business has its own sequence of selling. I coach a woman who does event selling. It's a 90-day process. I've coached people who sell logistics. It can be a one-year process. But most of you watching this content, your conversations should be one, two call close. So if you can't close and you use a three-way call with someone, it's, it, you better have someone there that can close the sale rather than tell a story. What most people do is they talk too much and they're not effective. The purpose of prospecting is to find qualified buyers. Your objective is to bring value and service to the market, to showcase your products, your services, and your value, and to find people who believe what you believe. And this is why you want to let go of the people who are the naysayers, who are skeptics, who aren't interested for what you have. They're not looking for your products, services, benefits, and features. I am not going to talk to a waiter in a restaurant and try and convince him to hire me when he's not looking for a coach. I mean, I'm, I'm not even going to bring it up. That's not what I would do. Now, if my wife owned a business, I would be able to prospect waiters and waitresses and it's just like this. Scott, you look like, you feel, you seem like a quality young man. Have you ever considered owning your business? And when Scott tells me that he's, that he is an independent filmmaker and he is a film in an independent film, film category, uh, he just disqualified himself. I didn't ask him that content. He volunteered content, avoided my question. I said, I, could, I would ask him one more time, Scott, I appreciate you're a filmmaker. Have you ever considered owning your own business? And he goes, well, let me think about it. Well, we're done. I'm not going to ask him again. He never answered the question. The same would be any, you, you, interviewing is a key component of owning a business. If you're not a skilled interviewer, like, and I, I, I qualified a landscaper this morning who's going to be in my property tomorrow. He's doing a $3,800 job. He wants a half, half down. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do my assistant's already done a walkthrough with him. And he contacted me, had some questions. I requalified him, asked him how long it's going to be. Could he do other projects on my property? This took five minutes. I mean, that's what it means. It's, it's the five minute message. When you are prospecting, it should be in. 15 minutes in three five-minute categories. If you're doing a three-way call, it's the same situation. It's the intro, the body, and the close. So that's the three components of any level of fact-finding, rapport building, and small talk. It's the three fives. It's the intro, the body, and the close. And if you can adhere to that, I used to sit in my house or my apartment and my house when I was building a seven-figure direct sales business and I would do sometimes 20 to 30 three-way calls a day with my teammates, closing sales for them, showing them how to close sales for themselves, creating a team of independent associates, not dependent or mentor dependent on me. When you have a mentor dependent business, you do not own a business, you have a daycare. And that's not what I build. I build independent, I'm an independent business owner from the comfort of my home, seeking other like-minded success seekers who want to be six and seven figure income earners is that you, chief? I mean, see, that's what I was looking for. Is that you? Are you looking? Do you believe what I believe? And if you believe what I believe, then you qualify for what I'm looking for. And so when you when you come from, that's called posture. I cover that in depth right here. Back in the 90s, I was called the king of posture. And it went around the network marketing industry. And, and when, I, so when I started my seminar company, my, my entire seminar company, the first five years, is built on prospecting, prospecting, and more prospecting, closing, closing, and more closing, lead generation, and more lead generation, and how to qualify leads for your time. And that's what I built my original career. I traveled the entire United States for the first five years of my career. Michael Cole, who was on today's Facebook Live, saw me, in, Michael, did you see me in Buffalo, Rochester? I mean, I know you saw me back in the day with William Fawcett and 
the three fellows from the five links days. So Michael is on today's Facebook Live. Michael is a long-term client friend. He's been following me for years, hired me back in 2002, back in the day. And here he is today on Facebook Live. Bob Campbell, good to see you. Breathe, release, and let go. Thank you for being here this afternoon. If you're on today's Facebook Live and you have not hired me to be your coach or you've not asked me for a free 20-minute coaching session, you can go to my website and you can request a 20-minute call with me. It says request a call right on the website, goldenmastermind.com. Or you can go into Facebook and request a call with me. However, whatever is easiest for you. If you want to speak to me, send me a message. I'll respond to you very quickly. I'm very skilled at getting back to my clients. Thank all of you for being here this afternoon. This is a really back to basics. Carlene Lewis is on today's Facebook Live. I endorsed her book about 15 years ago. Carlene, go ahead and post where people can buy your book. But I endorsed Carlene's book from back in the day. Good to see all of you this afternoon. I'm going to be doing a lot more back to basics calls in the next few days, weeks, months, and years. I factor I got another good, good 10 years of being in the, in the game of free enterprise. So once again, if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one coaching, send me a message. I'll reach out to you immediately. Have an outstanding afternoon. Breathe, release, and let go.